Evil Guys. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today we're going to be focusing on Discolored. This game is going to be releasing on June 18th, 2021. It was originally launched on the Apple Arcade. It's published and developed by Godby Games, LLC. It's officially up for pre-order, so if you're interested in picking it up, I'll have a link down in the description below to do so. Uh, the game runs at $9.99, and it's a super easy completion. You can get the full 1,000 gamer score in just about 20 to 25 minutes, as long as you know what you're doing. Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and go into our settings, and we're going to enable the speedrun skips, highlights, as well as the hint hotspots. And that's about it. I also have free roam checked, which I believe was checked by default. I pretty much have everything checked except for invert look. After you do that, we're going to go ahead and press back and we're going to go ahead and start our game. Now, Discolored is a puzzle game created by Jason Godby and published by Shifty Eye. You start in what I can only assume is your office. Since the beginning, you need to start solving puzzles to start the real puzzles. You start off by getting a viewer, a tool that will let you go through a painting Super Mario 64 style. Now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to this table. Now you want to pick up the item right here. I think it's some sort of film that you put in the viewer. After you pick that up, you need to press A on the desk to exit out of the desk. After that, you want to walk up and look at this TV. Now you need to stare at this TV for about a minute and a half. After that, it's going to start counting down one minute. Once it gets to about 10 seconds, what we're going to do is we're going to run back into the elevator where we started the game off at. And there's a secret compartment in which basically it's going to open once that countdown hits zero. And we're going to have an opportunity to grab that crowbar. So once you're in the final five seconds, go ahead and stare down this section right here and get ready to press A. I'm going to press A to grab the crowbar while it's blinking. And at this point, everything is going to lose its color. And what you want to do is you want to walk up to this panel. You want to press A to interact with it. And then you want to press X to pull up your inventory, press the crowbar, press X again to exit out of your inventory, interact with the panel once you have the crowbar, and then interact with the little chip in between the wires. That's going to unlock the spy's achievement. After that, we're going to go ahead and pick up this little suitcase right here. You're going to go to your inventory. You're going to press the suitcase, open up the suitcase, and grab this little VR headset looking thing. The game refers to it as the viewer. And uh, basically what we're going to do is combine the lens with the uh, little VR headset. After that, you're going to interact with the door, go through the door, pull out your little viewer, and you're going to interact with the painting. That's basically going to warp us or teleport us into this painting in which we're going to spend the rest of the game in. And basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to head over to the left side of this little diner and we're going to find a bucket. After we pick up the bucket, you can go ahead and fall off the cliff right here. That'll unlock our next achievement called wormhole or finding a wormhole. At this point, you're going to go to the other side of the diner in which we can find the well. You want to pull up your inventory, pull out the bucket and attach the bucket to the hook. After that, you can interact with the well. It's going to send the bucket down, and once the bucket finally reaches the bottom, you're going to have to interact with the well once again to bring the bucket back up. After the bucket is all the way up, you'll be able to interact with it to put it in your inventory, and at this point, we have a bucket filled with water. Alright, so at this point, we can go ahead and head inside of the diner. I'm sure you guys can see. Basically, everything is in black and white. We do not have any color. And ultimately, our goal here is to fill the world back up with color. Make sure that you grab a ticket from that little dispenser on top of that table and head upstairs. And once you get upstairs, you're going to head to the end of this hallway and you're going to see a green triangle. What you want to do is take out your bucket of water and water the plant above the green triangle. And it's going to open up a secret compartment and it's going to have a picture of the green triangle located inside of the cash register. What you want to do is you want to take that picture and place it in your viewer. 
After you place it in your viewer headset, we're going to head back downstairs and you're going to cut to the left and the cash register in the picture is going to be located right here. Take out your viewer, which has the picture uh, placed inside of it. Once you have the viewer out, press A to interact with the cash register. As long as you have the film inside, it's going to pop out the cash register in which we're going to get our first uh, little prism, our green prism or the green triangle and we're going to place that inside of the green pot and we're going to get our achievement called green. After that, you wanna pick up the stick on the wall above the plant and you wanna combine the stick with the hook. Take that out and we want to interact with the addict. After that, we're going to head upstairs and in here, you're going to look on the right hand side and we're going to find a handle. It's basically the other handle for the well going to find a little cabinet but it has a green lock on it and basically what we got to do is we got to take that green prism out to unlock that cabinet so we're going to grab the green prism back and we're going to head back upstairs and we should be able to get into the uh, cabinet now all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up that cabinet look straight behind us and there's going to be a little remote what we need to do is we need to grab that moon. So swing around the crane, lower the crane, and then pinch the crane. That's going to grab the moon, and we're going to basically reverse that whole process. So now we wanna go back up, and we're going to swing the crane around, and then we're going to lower the crane and open it up. And once you place the moon inside of the truck, we're going to be able to grab that moon. After you grab the moon, you should unlock your next achievement called Stealing the Moon or Picking the Moon from the Sky. After that, we're going to head downstairs and we're going to put the green prism back because we already have that cabinet open. Make sure you didn't close it. Um, now that it's open, we're good to go. We can put the green prism back. Now, I'm sure you're starting to get the idea here. We're going to be collecting these prisms and bringing each color back to the world one by one until we have full color once again. Now you want to head back to the well on the right hand side of the diner and what we're going to do is we're going to place the crank or the handle and we're going to interact with it bringing the next item back up from the well. That's going to be the blue prism. Make sure to pick that up and we're going to head back into the diner. We're going to head back upstairs so go up the little spiral staircase once again. And this time we want to head back upstairs. So interact with the little drop down staircase once again. And once we get in here, we'll be able to place that blue prism inside of that blue slot. Make sure you pick up the green record or the vinyl, whatever you want to call it, and place the blue prism. After that, you're going to unlock the blue achievement and then make sure that you pick up the blue handle off of that door. After that, we're going to head back downstairs and we want to put the handle on the door that's missing the handle. It's going to be located to the right, right here. So take out that blue handle and interact with the uh, door and you're going to place the handle. After that, pick up the stool to the right hand side, open up this little suitcase and you want to place the green record. After you place the record, we're going to start the little record machine and it's going to open up a secret tray and we're going to have two items inside. You need to make sure you collect both items. We're going to have the red prism as well as a packet of grass seeds. After you pick both of those up, what we can do is we can go ahead and head into the room to the right of us. It's going to be located right here. You want to head over to the nightstand on the opposite side of the bed open up that drawer and we're going to find a blue book inside after that you want to open up your inventory interact with the book and open up the book we're going to be using this in a bit but first we need to find something else so what we're going to be doing is we're going to head back downstairs so take a left head through the double doors and back down the spiral staircase now once we get down here we're going to head outside and what you want to do is you want to head over to the right where we found the bucket and you want to interact with this little hole in the uh, ground or the sand. 
and after that you want to get the seeds out of your inventory and place them inside of the hole pick up the little item inside I think it's the leftover packet and then place the dirt over the um, hole after you plant the grass seeds we're going to head back inside of the diner and there's going to be a slot where it's missing a stool what we need to do is pull the stool out of our inventory the one that we found inside of the closet place it and then interact with it it's going to open up a secret layer in which we can go down this ladder and now we are in this little secret room we want to interact with the green switch on the wall and next you want to go over here and open up this little door you don't have to interact with the handle twice look to the right you're going to find some firewood and we're going to place the firewood inside so pull it out of your inventory interact with it it's going to place the firewood and close this little door and put the handle back after that it should light up red now remember we did collect the red prism so pull it out of our inventory and place it you're going to unlock the red achievement and you're going to realize that you can't go anywhere you're pretty much blocked off by this gate so i'm going to take the prism out and if you look at this digital clock right here it says 342 it should say the same time for you now what we need to do is we need to put the red prism back and we can pull out this blue book and now the red prisms are there so we can use these uh little red prism buttons or triangle buttons to adjust the time and as you can imagine we need to enter the time that matches that digital clock which was 342 just make sure that you put the hands the same place that i'm putting them and you should be able to open it up it's going to open a secret slot in which we can grab the red key now what you want to do is get that red key out of your inventory and use it to open up this little gate and we're going to press this red switch and after that we can head up uh the ladder <laughs> i was about to say upstairs up the ladder and then from here what we're going to do is we're going to head outside and we're going to head over to the phone booth and we're going to go inside of the phone booth and we're going to try to get our achievement for making our first call what you need to do is go inside interact with the phone booth interact with the phone it's going to take the phone off of the little handle right there after that you want to place the moon inside of the coin slot that's the moon that we got from the crane and what we need to do is enter in a eight digit phone number we get this phone number from the two tickets that we have in our inventory so it's going to start off with one two two seven and then seven three three four you basically put in the green ticket and then the red ticket and afterwards you're going to uh, press the three drops on the lower right hand corner of the dial pad okay so that's one two two seven seven three three four again one two two seven seven three three four after that press the three drops and it should push you out of the phone booth and it should unlock the achievement called dialing out for making a phone call after that what we're going to do is we're going to head back over to the area where you find the well and there's going to be a picture on the wall we need to collect that picture and then after that we're going to head back inside of the diner we need to take this to the tv upstairs inside of the room where we found uh, the book inside of that nightstand so head back upstairs and you're going to go into the bedroom right here the tv is going to be turned on interact with it you're going to pull out your inventory and we're going to place that picture inside of the tv that's going to unlock the next achievement called signal for restoring the tv signal the only thing is is that we need to adjust that dial and there's some red things blocking us from adjusting it so we need to go take out the red prism that way we can adjust the signal on the tv so what we're going to do is we're going to head downstairs and we need to go down uh, this secret area so head down the ladder and if you remember, uh, the red prism is located down here. So we need to uh, take it out. And then after that, we need to head back upstairs to the TV so that we can adjust the signal. Because again, there was a little uh, red thing blocking us from adjusting or spinning the knob to adjust the TV signal. So head back upstairs. We're going to go back into the room and you're going to interact with the TV once again. All right, so interact with it, and there's no more red things blocking the dial anymore. So just press that once, 
and you should see a table with a little paint can on it or paint bottle after that we're going to head back downstairs and we're going to go back down the ladder and this time we should have a tray with a little um, paint bottle and a paintbrush inside of it all because we adjusted the signal on the TV so first thing we got to do is place the red prism back where we got it look behind us and there we go there's that tray take the paintbrush out take the paintbrush out of your inventory and interact with the uh, painting after that it's going to turn the triangle blue and we're going to head upstairs or <laughs> up the ladder I did it again up the ladder after that it's going to uh, push you into a little cutscene in which you're going to see an eye in the sky that's going to unlock our next achievement called evil moon and basically what they did is they took all of the colors away from us even though we have all of the prisms in place so all of that progress we lost it no nah, i'm just messing with you guys it's part of the game but what we need to do is basically get all of those prisms back so we're going to go back into the diner and get one by one we're going to start off with going upstairs and getting the green prism basically the first one that we placed if you don't remember it's located right here inside of the plant after that we're going to head upstairs and we're going to get the blue prism from inside of that cabinet so cut to the left look right here take out the blue prism and we're going to head back down these stairs after that um, what we need to do is get the last color which I believe is red that's going to be located in the secret area below the diner so head over here and we're going to interact with the ladder to go down there we need to take the red prism out of what I think is a furnace so patiently go down that ladder take out the red prism and now what we're going to do is interact with the triangle there's going to be a picture or film located right here pick up the film off of the easel and then we're going to combine the film with the viewer once you have that all set up we're going to go ahead and get out of here so head back up the ladder patiently and then um, once you're back up here in the diner we're going to exit the diner and there's going to be a little glowing triangle right by the phone booth stand right above it you'll see a triangle on the lower right hand corner of the screen take out your viewer and interact with the eye in the sky that's going to unlock our next achievement called watched for getting the feeling that you're being watched after you unlock that we're going to go over here to this tower and you're going to head up this ladder now we have a missable achievement right here the first time i played the game i actually missed this part what you want to do is make sure that you look up before you open up this door and you're going to find a dial make sure you pick up that dial because you're going to end up getting to a point of no return where you can't go back and get it and you would need to restart the game if you missed that after that we're going to place all three colored prisms right here in this podium and it's going to light up white after that what we're going to do is we're just going to head back down so we need to go back and interact with that ladder once again and at this point guys we're nearly done with this game all we have to do is go back to that glowing uh, triangle on the floor by the phone booth stand over that once again if you're standing over it you're going to see the triangle on the lower right hand corner of your screen after that you want to pull out your viewer and at first i thought you needed to interact with the eye in the sky again but what you actually need to do is interact with the tower so skip interacting with the eye in the sky don't worry about that you want to use the viewer to interact with the tower where we went up and we plugged in all of the different prisms Alright, so we're going to unlock our next achievement called Full Spectrum. Worth 88 gamer score, evening out that really odd gamer score that all of the other achievements had. 
and there we go that's basically for bringing color back to everything so now what we need to do is head back up this ladder and we're going to head over here where we had placed the prisms and a picture frame will appear next what we need to do is pull up our inventory open up our suitcase and now you'll be able to press a red button on it open up that secret compartment and grab that piece of film place it in the viewer take out the viewer and interact with the frame this is going to basically teleport us or warp us into the painting similar to how it went down at the beginning of the game now we're going to end up in this little office and what you need to do is interact with this radio and we need to place the dial that we found on that roof the one that I told you that I missed on my first playthrough place the dial inside of the radio and interact with it after you use it to tune the radio you're going to unlock an achievement called tuning in for listening to the radio show all right so after that we can exit out of this a little radio section go ahead and look straight behind you you're going to find a map what we need to do is interact with the map and then interact with the triangle after you interact with that glowing triangle on the map that little section should turn green and someone should place a little envelope under the door you want to pick up that envelope interact with it to open it and what we want to do is grab the piece of film and exit out now what you're going to do is you're going to place that film inside of your viewfinder or viewer sorry and we're going to interact with this painting for one last time besides that the achievement that we just unlocked should be the last achievement giving you the full 1000 gamer score and that's about it guys you guys should have the full 1000 g hopefully you guys enjoyed another achievement guide other than that i'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my patreon subscribers we just hit 16 patrons i'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club including tim g84 aoj kegger 101 Michael Banksa and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.